just real quick of course you're sure. predominantly in the lightweight so this is your division obviously you're gonna have a little more extra focus on this now there's a lot of stuff that's been going around with the title uh in the lightweight division there's been a lot of kind of it's been in limbo pretty much there has also been a lot of talk about who does dustin fight for the title and i'm not sure how much weight you put into this if you uh pay attention to uh, pay attention to a bunch or just you know focus on yourself but in just your opinion, as especially as a lightweight fighter, do you, what do you think about the whole Connor trilogy, the Nate Diaz against Tessa Poirier thing, Charles Oliveira? What are your thoughts on this? These are the matchups I think need to happen now, and I think uh, you know, for, from a fighter standpoint, uh, standpoint, I think Poirier needs to fight Oliveira for the title. Um, you know, if Khabib's retired, uh, I think Connor isn't going to win two or three more fights in the UFC. I'm pretty sure his career is over. Uh, I think he's going to compete again. Uh, but I can't see him competing at the top level. Uh, he's not going to beat Olivier. He's going to get subbed by him. Uh, Gaethje's a good matchup for him because he'll stand and bang with him. Mm -hmm. But what I really think the best matchup for the business, for the UFC, is the trilogy for him and Diaz. Um, you know, and then uh, I think I think Ferguson, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm tossing around. Ferguson's lost two in a row now. I think uh, Gaethje should fight Chandler and uh, or ferguson for that matter but i mean ferguson is i'm more towards gaethje and chandler uh than ferguson because ferguson's coming off two losses mm -hmm. to put him in title contention put him in the top five after two losses is tough even though they've been tough losses mm -hmm. but still uh, i think those are the matchups that need to be made those are the right matchups to make they make sense but ufc is a business uh they gotta see where the money's gonna come in uh anywhere conor mcgregor you know I, I maybe Con connor and, and ferguson both coming off losses that would be a very entertaining fight as well. I think Ferguson smashes him. I don't think Connor's going to be able to put, put him away. Gaethje couldn't put him away. And, uh, well, I mean, he did, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think Ferguson's going to be slick and awkward and weird. And like I said, I, I don't I don't think Connor should be in the top five. Uh, I don't think he wins another top five fight in his career. I wouldn't mind that Ferguson fight. I think that, <laughs> that would actually be uh, one of those fights that might bring the uh, old Connor out, right? The trash talker and uh, – Get him fired that, up. Not, not, not to, to interrupt you, but that is exactly why I don't think he's going to win. He's changed. Money's has changed. Success has changed him. When you're at the top of the mountain, you're looking down at all your peers. How do you stay motivated? You know right. what I mean? And, you know, look at look at his last two fights. Oh, he beat Donald Cerrone, who's lost five fights in a row. Uh, and, you know, he just got dismantled by uh, Poirier. And it's, I mean, that... Dude, the guy, he's back rubbing all his opponents the whole time. Oh, you're the great, you're such a great fighter. You're so good. Like, where's that Connor when he jumps over the cage and runs up to Jose Aldo, gets in his face, he goes, ah, you know what I mean? That I Connor's it. gone. That Connor's gone. Right. No, that, that, that was his edge. That was his mental edge. He could get these guys' heads, get them emotional. The first time he fought Poirier, Poirier said, all I want to do is hurt this guy from all the trash. I just want to hurt him. I just want to hurt him. And this one, he said, I don't want to hurt him. I want to out-technique him, out-class him. And he did that. Uh to me, like I said, I don't think Connor wins. I don't think Connor can beat anybody in the top five. Uh, I think Justin Gaethje uh, is probably the only guy he could beat, and only because Justin's going to try and you know stand and bang with him, and right. you know, uh, and Connor has power to knock him out. But Oliveira subs him. Poirier just picked him apart. Uh, Ferguson, I think, is going to be too funky for him. Mm. I think he's going to find him on the ground, you know, in a submission somewhere. You know, Connor doesn't have a problem tapping out. You know, he's tapped out three. You know, I think he has three tap out submissions. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you got TKO'd his last fight. How do you bounce back? You know, for, man, I don't think he can beat anybody in the top five. 